Dr. Cameron Caswell. I'm an adolescent psychologist and I work with families and parents and their teens and I help them reconnect. So I am listening to the kids every day telling me what's going on. I'm listening to the parents telling me what's going on and so I bring that lens to what we to what we teach you guys. A lot of times what sounds like disrespect to us, what sounds like being defiant is really their best attempt to have a voice and speak up for what is important to them. And they don't know how to do it well. And so when we have an expectation of how somebody's gonna respond to us, which we do, if we're kind, we expect them to be kind. If we have that expectation, we are setting them up to fail and us to be disappointed. Patients that get thrown on you to help your kids' mental health and we don't feel like there's enough support for you guys to be able to feel good and show up. And the whole thing falls apart when you guys aren't feeling good, right? So that's where we're coming from. We want you guys to find that support. Let's start with the first one. You have a daughter and they're on the phone and you're really worried, which every parent is, what are they doing on the phone? Right. So how do we start the conversation before we even know anything to help them know how to protect themselves when they're going to be rolling their eyes when we're trying to talk about this. Yeah, I felt like I had a lot of opportunities to reflect on what I've been doing and how I've been doing things when you asked the questions that led me to the conclusion that, ah, there's something I can adjust here. I'll hear my kids laughing in the other room. I've never heard that before. And so I think they even get along better. And now I'm going to cry. <laughs> Just a lot happier and less stressful at home. Um, and I feel more comfortable too, just joking like we used to do, just having a good time. Honestly, it's been so much better.